this is rocking with jamming is with thomas thunder what's up bro what's up man hey yeah how you doing man what's up doing pretty well thanks welcome for those who's uh for those watching who are not familiar with you yet please tell me about yourself tell me about yourself okay i am a drummer and i am a progressive metal songwriter who is 14 years old my influences for songwriting are Dream Theater, Sons of Apollo, and Tool, and that's about it. Tell me about the song Crystal Illusion. Okay, the song Crystal Illusion was inspired by the classic horror movie Nosferatu, and I'm in a performance band with School of Rock, and they had a bunch of kids come in and write a score to the silent movie and I was and I wrote that song to that movie and it inspired that song wow it's pretty amazing man Congratulations. how did you hook up with all those famous people okay um I met Derek Derek Serenian who's the keyboardist on my songs on Instagram he sent out a post to all of his followers saying he, he will perform on your song if he likes it and we sent my song to him and it turns out that he wanted to play on my song and he referred me to all of these professional musicians bumblefoot and tony franklin it was pretty cool bumblefoot is a very good friend of mine and he is one of the nicest guys in the music industry. He was actually he, my first interview. Very nice. He had a whole two-hour Zoom meeting with him for free. Wow. I think I even had a three-hour or one hour. It was one of my longest videos. We had yeah, a very he's amazing, amazing yeah. person. Did you learn a lot from him? Um, He told me how to distribute my album and how to get it out there. So I don't just put it out there in it and nothing happens so you have an album coming out next month yeah i have an album coming out in the last friday of september tell me about that tell me about the album okay the album is going to be called the pharaoh's temple and it's going to be released in september 2021 the single called the pharaoh's temple is going to be released this um august 27th so you can listen to it. It's going to be out on all streaming platforms, like Apple, including Apple and Spotify. Is there a singer? No, um, there's going to be vocals in two of the songs on my album. The rest is instrumental. So uh, what you what? So what got you started into music? What got you started? OK, so I started drums at five years old. And I was suggested by my drum teacher to go to the um, music program called School of Rock. And it was there where I was, where I was inspired to start songwriting at around nine years old. And then I wrote a couple songs and I eventually, my first, it, it, this isn't a real album, but I was, at first I was just fooling around, you know, but now i'm professionally putting my songs out there and it's really cool yeah we're kind of like the same thing because um at nine i started my interview business and then it's like it's pretty fascinating right yeah. it just, i sound older than you i sound like i'm 15. Yeah, you always you always start somewhere you always start anywhere you know no matter what age you are Who are your impersonations? Like what bands? Inspirations? What were your inspirations? Okay. I'm into progressive metal music since I'm a progressive metal songwriter. I love Pink Floyd, Rush, Dream Theater, Sons of Apollo, and Tool. It's crazy for a young kid to not be into rap, you know? It's just crazy yeah. for our generation not to be in rap, you know? We're supposed to be, be the hip hop generation of music. Not the yeah, rock. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into that kind of music at all. Not me. Not me really either. I really. I interview rappers. Yeah, but of course, but of course, I appreciate all different kinds of music, 
even if I personally have a, you know, I don't like it. Hmm. You, are you starting school soon again, too? Okay, I'm homeschooled, Ooh. but I'm still starting school in September, early September. I was, uh, I guess you could say I was homeschooled last year, so, ah, homeschooled, right, yeah. Uh, what do you do for fun? Are you in the games? Um, I'm into retro games. I play the Atari. Atari, okay. Any more? So, but most of my free time is spent on music. But I still, once in a while, when I, you know, I play games once in a while, the retro games. You know, I, I'm still, I'm still a kid at heart. I still play games and do stuff like that <laughs> and have fun. Well, make sure to take your time to still be a kid. You don't want to grow up too fast. Look at me, and I'm already matured, and I talk like this, you know? Yeah. You just got to stay on. got to try to still be a kid. You got to enjoy it. Not become an adult too soon. So what are your goals in the, in the music industry? Okay, so my goal is to become a professional songwriter, of course. So just like oh, Derek put something out there, I want to – put things out there so I can write for other musicians, possibly write scores for movies. And I want to become a studio musician or a session drummer who plays drums on other records, including my own. Ever play a concert? Um, I play concerts for School of Rock, which are cover songs from other bands, but I've never performed my own song professionally. What's next for you? Well, I'm not sure what's my next path, but to me, what seems like what's next is seeing how my album goes and how and, and the um all of the promotion and stuff it receives. How do my followers follow you? I'm um, always that. How how do my followers follow you? Where do they go to go to your website? Um, to Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Well, Thomas Thunder. It's at Thomas Thunder 11. Oh, that's all right. All right. Check them out, guys. And I have a website called that's separate from Instagram called Thomas Thunder Music dot com. Okay. Just search that on uh, the Internet. Oh, uh, where can we get your music? Like, do you got any merch? Um, any Spotify or... and, and Apple Music. But yeah, I have, I've recently, past few weeks, came out with a merch store on my website. Awesome, man. Well, um, did you design your merch? Did you design your merch? Um, my merch, um. Well, all I all I did was just put my album cover on, you know, mugs and T-shirts and put my logo on, you know, hats and stuff like that. Could you I play hired some an artist to do the logo. Quick? Could you play some drums real quick? Play could, drums? Yeah, could you? I'm okay. I'm not set up to do that right now, but I can just but um, cause I I don't have my snare drum right now here. Okay. But but, yeah, I can get it though. All right. Cause he just I'm very sorry about this. I'm just not set up. Uh no no it's okay man. Yeah sorry about it. This is kind of a quick interview if it seems. Sorry about. Oh that that that's that's okay. Okay, thank you. You're really talented by the way. It's pretty. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate all the support that my followers that I get from them and I'm growing so fast and it's just awesome to receive all of this you're pretty talented man yeah growing too fast you know people grow yeah I, I see what you mean dude my parents and my grandparents I want say oh I remember you when you were this small little pea oh uh, yeah time sly what's your favorite song to play my favorite song to play, I don't have a specific song that I go to to practice or to play or jam out to, but I love the album by Tool that just came out a couple years ago, I think it is now, Fear Inoculum. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, I already have a multi-instrumental cover of one of the songs where I'm playing a minute from that song on Instagram. It's a pretty good album, by the way. It's pretty yeah. cool. Pretty good album. Oh. What rock stars would you like to work with in the future? I don't have any particular rock stars in mind, but... I mean, working with Derek Serenian, Bumblefoot, and Tony Franklin, that's amazing in itself. Maybe in the future, you could even play with uh, Jeff Scott Soto and a whole bunch of other people. Oh, like, oh yeah. And, and oh, yeah, that, I, I love Jeff Scott Soto. Maybe even Billy Sheehan. the band Sons of Apollo that I love. Maybe even Billy Sheehan. You know? Yeah, all of these musicians are amazing. Yeah, did it just get set up? Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I just got to get set up. Okay, it's okay. Well, sorry for making you get your jump. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is this is an honor to be able to play something. Is that your mom, by the way? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. He was set up outside to do a video. Uh, that, so we're just bringing the stuff back in. Okay. Well, thank you guys. I really appreciate you uh, for uh, playing the drums. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, thank you. I got the free drums, you know. I got a free drums. On. All right, here we go. Right. Is everything is everything okay? Um, can you like see me? Yeah, I can see you perfectly. Let's just do this, man. Okay. I don't know how it's going to sound over there, but. It's okay. No, no. By the way, my door is closed, so if it sounds really loud, don't worry. an excerpt from my song oh my god your song oh wow that's all i gotta say you're so good man you're very good thanks (laughs) oh my god i would love to meet you in person though i would definitely love to meet you in person (laughs) hey you too i'm actually gonna be starting the drums too could you give me some tips okay well if you want to start the drums the first thing you usually learn how to do is hold a stick okay and you usually learn your way around the kit and all like the names of the drums and once you've got all that technical stuff down you'll start with rudiments like what's called a single stroke roll which is the most common rudiment which is like right left right left right left alternating between hands double stroke right right left left right right left left that's pretty much how you start the drums and you practice this very slowly to a click or a metronome that's how you like start as like a person who's just starting out on the drums because you've never played before right on the drums um i played once or i maybe played once but i i can't do good just just like beating like this that's just that's all yeah, but, yeah, but you, you know, that, that gives you an idea of how, you know, it's going to feel without holding a stick. Even I, even I sometimes do that myself. Just I'm very, around, I'm very rhythm-ish, so you need a lot of rhythm to play because you got to, like, oh, yeah. you got to be kind of crazy. Rhythm is pr- probably one of the biggest aspects of drums. Since you don't, you can't really play a melodic line on the drums like you would on, like, a guitar, like a melody, you know, you use kind of rhythm to express what you're trying to say on the drums are your parents musicians um no but my dad has picked up the bass a few years ago 
and that's my pretty mother cool. sings, but they're not, you know, quote unquote professional musicians. But but you know, they, they like what they're doing and that's great. Maybe your mom should me. Maybe they your supported mom. me so much and that's awesome. Well, you're doing really good at this, man. You got an album with Bumblefoot, you know? It's pretty crazy. Yeah, Bumblefoot is phenomenal. His solo that he did on my song, Crystal Illusion, at the very beginning is amazing. One of my favorite solos. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for being on my show, man. Sorry if it seemed really quick. Sorry about that, man. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. Well, thank you for being on my show, man. I hope the next time we talk is at the back stage at one of your shows, too, when you're, like, playing with Ozzy, man. You have a good one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you too. Yeah, you too, man. Pretty cool. All right, have a great week. You have a great week too, man. Have a great year. Peace. All right, bye. Bye. Bye, yeah, boys. Have a lot.